Spencer Yu from a company called Brain Robotics, who is a newish company as well. Um, and it is a cool need, especially for where it kind of slots into the K3 category. Uh, it is PDAC approved, so you should be able to get it reimbursed. And from the practitioner side, um, it's not a super expensive device, but it is a, a good device, especially if I feel like for those lower activity um, K3 users that maybe we want to get them a more functional knee that, you know, that can do certain features like walking up stairs step over step or gives them maybe a little bit more extension assistant on, on ramps. But also we don't want something that's heavy. We don't really care about waterproofing. Um, we, we care more about, you know, battery life and those types of things. So I think that this knee does kind of have a place and um, we'll go through it and show kind of some quick features here and then I'll talk about it. So here I'm demonstrating the manual lock. You can see it, you, there's the power button on the side. You push the power button, hold it down for a couple seconds, and then it locks. You can see here now it's it's fully locked in into a, that manual lock. If I lift it up, it's not going anywhere. And then to release it from that is just pushing the button again, and it goes into a free swing. And then now it also has just a stance flexion lock. So if you just flex out and hold it, then it'll it'll lock in there. Um, this knee comes with a the black version that I'm wearing, and then they also have a, like a pearl white they call kind of stormtrooper. So that's cool. Two different options. Um, here I'm demonstrating just short steps and swing initiation. So that's one thing that I really like this knee for for new amputees especially is it it releases into swing easier than a lot of knees. So it's a lot easier for a new transfemoral patient to understand how the knee is going to function. And that's super helpful. And then it also does stance knee flexion. So that's, you know, landing on that bent knee and getting a nice comfortable walk. And the knee really does good in supporting you if you have that, that yielding stiffness turned up all the way. Um, but it does, it does walk really controlled and really comfortably. Here I'm just demonstrating, see, you can, it supports you, even though so, that's scary, it supports you. And then here's the quick walk to run that I am, again, not great at, but the knee does do walk to run. Um, and so that's a nice little added feature. Here we go into stair step over step, which, you know, after a little bit of time wearing this knee, it does take a like aggressive hip motion in that extension moment. You do have to like kind of give it some good feedback to get it there. But I do like that you could take a first step with your prosthetic. The foot doesn't have to be on the ground to make that happen. And so that's really nice that you could you could lead with the prosthetic if you needed to or wanted to. Um, and it's not too hard to do that. And then stair descent, again, is just kind of your standard stair descent, but still controlled and comfortable. Um, not, not really anything that, that is groundbreaking or different there and then same with the uh, sitting as well just riding that yielding down and, and getting a nice comfortable sit and so this knee does all of those kind of basic functions really nicely like i said in there um the neural comes in through two colors it comes in in a black kind of gray blackish color and a white kind of pearlish color and then right now they are working on a protective cover that should be coming out soon. And I think that the protective cover is important because one of my concerns about this knee is durability and you know, just how rugged it is, how much you can do before it starts breaking down. That is something that I'm concerned about. So having a cover will be helpful with that. Five days of battery life and then uh, USB-C, which is nice, especially if that's like, if you're a newer patient and, and maybe like charging your leg isn't something you think about all of the time, <laughs> having a universal plug that, that you'll pretty much always have or always have access to is nice. Um, and then the power button kind of helps you extend the length of that battery if you need to, or just be able to turn it off when you're traveling, different things like that. I think that this knee does like short steps and small steps really well. And so again, for those newer users that maybe have a tougher time getting that, that knee to open up and, and get into its swing phase, this knee really does help a new user understand how a microprocessor in general is gonna function. And so that's really helpful. There's a stiffer spring in, in the knee and so a stiffer extension spring. 
And so that helps the foot get out in front of you faster, especially on like ramp ascent, um, which makes you feel safer and more comfortable, which is really nice. Back to kind of durability and those types of things, there are, you know, adjustable flexion stops. So as a practitioner, if you know, you're, you're making contact with the socket and those things, you can adjust the flexion stop. And then like I was saying, if they come out with the cover, I think that that will, will kind of help quite a bit in solving those problems. Um, but it's cool to me, I, I like the stair ascent. I think that it does take, it takes a little more intention. So, you know, you have to really be intentional about getting there and really getting that extension to kick that knee back and get it into where you want to get it to lift. And I'm doing it, you can't see it, but, <laughs> but it just helps me talk through it, I guess. So, you know, I think that you do have to be a little bit more intentional about that. And sometimes you have to really get that extension moment. Um, but again, for the knee and like where it is, I think that like that is very nitpicky. Um, I think that it's pretty cool that it can do that. And then it has all those locks and everything else. Um, so it's a cool knee. Like I said, if it's a patient that like is, is new and you think that they're going to be working from like a high K2, K3 to a high K3, maybe K4 range, I think that this is like a, a really good starting point. Uh, so that's it for today. We'll see you next time.